In this video, we'll demonstrate how to enter altitude and speed constraints, fly a lateral offset, and enter a hold into the flight plan. We will also discuss how to divert to a planned alternate or a new destination. Altitude constraints exist in departures, arrivals, and approaches. They can also be assigned by ATC. FMS predicted altitudes are displayed in green, while procedural or manually entered altitude constraints are white. When an altitude constraint is assigned by ATC, select the desired waypoint from the flight plan. Select altitude and choose at, above, or below, depending on ATC instructions. Then enter the desired altitude. The descent angle to the crossing restriction can be changed. Select angle and adjust the angle of descent between 1 and 8 degrees. Once the change is activated, the altitude constraint is displayed and the VNAV and performance functions recompute the flight plan to achieve the vertical constraint. Waypoint speed constraints may be determined by departures, arrivals, and approaches. They can also be assigned by ATC. Predicted speeds are displayed in green, while procedural or manually entered speed constraints appear in white. When a speed constraint is assigned by ATC, select the desired waypoint from the flight plan. Select speed and enter either the airspeed or Mach number and activate the entry. During cruise, the FMS applies the constraint to all legs after the constrained waypoint until reaching the top of descent. In a climb, the FMS speed constraint is applied before the waypoint with the constraint. After sequencing the waypoint, the FMS will return to normal speed scheduling. Lateral offsets are used to fly parallel to the existing legs in the active flight plan and can be used to avoid weather, wake turbulence, or as requested by ATC. Click on the aircraft symbol and select Offset. Enter the offset distance and direction and activate the entry. Once the offset is activated, the flight director will command to turn in the direction of the offset and capture the offset course. The offset remains active until automatically canceled by FMS criteria or manually by the crew. Click on Delete to manually cancel the offset. Holding patterns can be defined manually or as part of a procedure. Click on the holding fix and select Hold. If a published hold exists, it will be retrieved from the database. Otherwise, the inbound course defaults to the course in the flight plan, but can be modified. Enter the desired leg time or leg distance as well as the direction of the turns in the hold. The FMS displays a speed for holding. The hold entry is automatically selected by the FMS and is based on the aircraft's current position. Review the holding quadrant and entry procedure before activating the hold. The holding pattern is displayed on the INAV map and a reverse video H appears next to the holding fix. Holding pattern entries are displayed when the FMS recommends a teardrop or parallel hold entry. They turn magenta when the hold is the active leg. To exit the hold, select Exit Hold. Once Exit Hold is selected, the aircraft turns and flies the shortest route on the protected side back to the holding fix. Select Resume Hold if necessary to continue the hold prior to sequencing the holding fix. Click on the aircraft symbol and select Aircraft and Present Position Hold to enter a holding pattern at the aircraft's current position. The latitude and longitude become the holding fix. 
After the hold is activated, the flight plan is updated to reflect the present position hold. The destination can be changed quickly at any time in the event a diversion is necessary. Click on the new destination on the iNav map, select Change Destination and activate. A destination can also be changed using the Nearest button on the iNav map or in the Flight Management window. The Nearest function shows the airports closest to the aircraft's present position. As the list of airports is reviewed, a line is drawn between the aircraft and the current airport listed. After an airport has been selected, click on Divert To. This will automatically enter a Direct To into the flight plan. To divert to the alternate airport listed in the flight plan, use the Direct To function either graphically or on the MFC. This has been an overview of en route changes on the Primus Apex-equipped Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft. Please refer to the Aircraft Flight Manual for more information.